Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I thought I'd do a little POV with the BMW just to show you guys what it's like to use on a daily basis. So we're just gonna go for a little drive. Um, I've just had to put some fuel in, as we always have to. I think the, one of the big things is only in a car like this is, is the fuel. I mean, it drinks so much fuel. I think I probably get about, I'm lucky to get 28 miles per gallon. That's on a good day. Normally if I'm driving, um, you know, around the speed limit, maybe, uh, you know, just a bit more. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so the, the, the miles per gallon, I'd probably get about like 22 miles per gallon. Um, so hopefully we'll catch some idiots on the road today. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna go for a little drive. So first impressions, if you were me and you just bought the car, you'll probably find out the car's actually quite comfortable. As you can see down here, it shows like efficient and sport, which is basically the steering wheel. So normally I would have that in comfort to be fair. So I'll put that in comfort. So yeah, so you can see it's in comfort. This, this tends to lighten the steering wheel. So it's not as heavy. Um, as you go up through the, the mode, it gets um, heavier and heavier, but it also becomes more responsive. Um, also, I wanted to say, guys, I look back at some of my videos, especially that first review I did on my car, I wasn't too happy with it now. So I'm planning on doing another review on it. Uh, this time, um, I didn't do the editing for that video. So, um, but the rest of the videos have been my editing. So I'm probably gonna re-edit it or redo one because, um, you know i'm not really happy with it and a lot of people did come back to me and say to me oh you know the information and just the general quality of the video wasn't great so i just wanted to apologize again for that guys you probably hear my phone obviously i'm using my phone to um control the gopro so we'll leave that down there um another thing that's quite cool with this car that i like um how accurate this is and you know i'm not sure what i'm told people are saying to me that you know it's just a gimmick some people are saying to me it's actually um it works if you know guys put a comment below let me know if if this actually works so basically this is just um measures your obviously your general power of the car your horsepower and the torque figures so the more you put your foot down obviously the higher it goes um so yeah we're just gonna go for a little drive now and uh see what's going on um, oh bloody hell that was close looks like he was in a rush wasn't he um, so yeah so yeah so the car is actually quite comfortable in in efficiency mode if you will and comfort steering um, you know, it's quite quiet, it's not loud, as you guys could probably tell. And in, in, in the cabin, like I said in, in the previous video, it's quite a nice place to be. Um, obviously, as you can see, it's like, well, I love this. I really love these um, controls here that you can control the onboard computer with and sort of play around. I'm always playing around with these. Look, as you can see, guys, look, there's my miles per gallon, 21.6. So, um, absolutely sucks there. So, um, what else is there? Obviously, you've got um, all your media stuff and Apple CarPlay comes if you buy the car from new, I believe. I don't think it can't, I don't think the subscription, I don't know about this, but I'm, I'm told that um, obviously when you get the car new, you get free Apple uh, CarPlay, but I've seen people on forums post like, oh, how'd you get Apple CarPlay? And there's people posting like saying you have to pay like 400 pounds a year for it or something so if anyone knows whether you, whether if it's true if you buy a car and it comes with it free and then if you buy the car second hand you have to pay for it i'd really like to know i don't know how that works um so yeah so like like i said you got this technology in action you got this efficiency thing here which all shows how it's charging the battery um I'd like to know a little bit more about how this really works. So look, as you can see, I'm not even like, what was it 20, 20.7? 20 is that what it's saying, telling me? 
I don't know. Who knows? Um, yeah, so um, there's that. So yeah, and then obviously you've got sports displays, vehicle status. Like I've obviously, you just, I think I've showed you guys this, like the tire pressures and that. Um, you know how many degrees it is and all. You can check your oil and stuff without getting dirty, which is quite cool if you're not keen on like. If you don't know how to change your oil, because funny enough, guys, it's quite strange. I come across so many people that own cars and they don't know how to change their oil, and it's like, wow, really? Or they don't know how to check it. I mean, I, I, I get it, change it. Okay, maybe that's a bit, bit ask for everyone to know how to change their oil on a car. Um, but I would have thought that people know how to check their oil at least, like, and like the fluids but i come across so many people that are like mm, i don't know where's that what's that but obviously manufacturers come up with a better idea where you just obviously um you know go to engine oil and uh, you have to do this stationary with your ignition on after driving for about half an hour and it gives you your measurement of your oil which is quite cool i guess oil, front pads vehicle check it actually does an actual vehicle check on the car which is quite cool um rear brake pads etc When's it telling me my brake pads are going to end? In 26,000 miles, I'm sure they're going to end before then. Especially with my driving. Um, oh yeah, I don't think I really went through this. I must have done, I can't remember. Obviously the M buttons. So like the MDMM mode that I've got on my M1 button, which obviously turns the traction semi off and stuff like that. And like uh sport plus and these are just my settings i've got on my buttons on the steering wheel as you can see here you've got two buttons you can select each button you can just obviously uh, program to how you want the car to be so i've got obviously completely off and then mild racing which would obviously be quite like track basically and then i've got so basically this is my send it button and this is my track button that's literally how it is so as you can see my uh send it buttons like everything full and traction off completely yeah. <laughs> i drive is quite cool tells you uh, how to set things up so you can change your driver profile as well which is quite cool what else is there there's quite a lot in this car to be fair um well yeah we'll stick it into see so you see how the note changes so we'll just go obviously we've got to stick with the speed limit so yeah i'm just gonna go for a little drive like i said um a lot of dead animals on the road. Don't know if you guys have ever been abroad, but uh, in Greece, there's a like you always see like it's, it's quite sad actually. You always see dogs and cats always run over. It's really really sad. And in England, you always see like foxes and stuff. What is that? Or a shoe? There's <laughs> some random stuff on the hard shoulder. <laughs> if you're if you're a homeless guy, go hit the hard shoulders. Probably find some load of stuff there. Actually, probably don't do that. It's probably not a good idea. Um, so yeah, so we're just uh, heading to where I first did my shoot in the car. Oh, there's an A45 there. Should we have some fun? reflexes guys that's uh well some people see they just don't look do they that's going to be fun to watch back well i didn't expect that kind of entertainment stupid lorry drive I ha do you know what guys if you drive a lorry i'm really sorry but i I hate you guys because you just pull out without bloody looking or maybe that's just some of you maybe it's like car drivers there's some good ones and there's some bad ones 
but seriously, like, you got you lorry drivers, you just, just don't give no fuck. You think you've got a big ass fucking lorry and it will protect you, but you also have a fucking responsibility that you can kill someone on the road just pulling out. Like, what the fuck? Do you know the one thing I hate is lorries and cyclists. I'm sorry if you're a cyclist. Um, there are, I guess there's probably like responsible cyclists, but they're like cyclists that take the piss, that like deliberately wobble towards you, or just literally take up the whole road and not give So yeah, we're just gonna go to this location where I first shot the car. review on the car um, it was snowing I was with Jody at the time we were freezing our butts off um, it was so so cold and um, yeah we I wanted to get this this video done um, and we came here and I remember we were driving here and uh, yeah it was absolutely freezing cold I didn't really want to take the car out because of the snow and the salt that was on the on the road and stuff. So yeah. Um, so yeah, we just. Uh, so as you can see, it's actually really, really nice, guys. Like it's such a really nice. It's so nice here. I really like it. There's a lot of people. You know what, um, me and Jodie, when we went up north to see her parents, we, um, I can't remember what it's called, it's where the Batman film was filmed. I don't know, if you, if you remember, if you know what I mean guys, put a comment below. Um, yeah, and uh, we went uh, up there and I remember driving there and um, I didn't want to walk all the way, it's quite far up to get to the house, I didn't want to walk all the way up. Um, and I, uh, I basically just literally took Jodie's car and we drove all the way up to the front entrance and I stopped like all the way up and uh, everyone was looking at us and we literally parked the car right bang smack in front of this uh, massive mansion. Oh no, they've locked the gates. Oh no guys, oh they've locked the gates. Somebody obviously reported us for being in there. Oh dear, we're gonna have to think of another thing then. Um, Oh man, I don't know. Uh, could go down there. Or do you just carry on driving? I don't know, maybe we just carry on driving. Maybe we just carry on driving. Come on, love, you're in a 4x4, four four, seriously, like. There she is messaging me now. Where are you? Guys, do your girlfriend do that? Like nag you all the time? Where are you? What are you doing? Who are you with? Or was that just Jody? <laughs> yeah, it's quite nice here. Like I said, we um, we filmed it, we filmed it over there. Um oh, you guys probably see, if not go over to my uh, Instagram, you'll see it. Um I'll put it below in the description. Don't forget to give me a cheeky follow. Um, yeah. Oh. To be fair, these bumps on my car is quite, quite aggressive. We're gonna have to find another spot 
well, I'm trying to find another spot. What I'm trying to do is find a spot so I can do some pictures or do another video of the car because, like I said, I really didn't like the 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 first bit, the first review I did. I was looking at some other people's stuff, and yeah, I, I kind of flopped on that quite badly. <laughs> Guys, you may notice I always turn the start stop off because it bugs me. Um, Why would you go in that lane? Some people, I don't get their driving, honestly. Like, I, the other, my pet hate again is people that hog lane. Like, if you're hogging the lane at 50 miles an hour, fuck off. Like, honestly, people like that bug me so much. Really, I don't understand their mentality. Like, they just hog that one overtaking lane. People, just, just guys, just one, I don't know, most of you may know this, most of you, most of you may not, but obviously the outer lanes on a motorway or on an A road are actually called the overtaking lane. So it's a lane where you actually overtake and then you're meant to come back in, not hog the lane. Anyway, just saying, look at the grip on this car. See, when it goes sideways, it goes sideways. When it grips, it grips. So, great cut this is this is what i was trying to elaborate in my video where's the rain um is that i wanted the car to be a grip car so like a fast track car and fast road car but also if you want to send it just bloody send it like and this is exactly what it does you know a lot of people want these audis and the rs is great and everything but this is raw and that's why again i got it in manual because i wanted something raw i wanted something that was like just pure power without even doing any modifications to it at all. It's just raw power, just raw power. We'll go see. Um, so I don't know if you guys know heard about, but the gyms are actually open. What are you doing, twat? Don't even indicate, do you? No, you fuck. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's pe Honestly, this area is the worst. Honestly, like, mate, what it's are you like doing? Fucking hell! Like he comes into my lane, expects me to move over into the bus lane to then get a ticket. <laughs> I'm real. I'm real. I'm real. Guys, let me know. Am I just being an absolute knob, or like, am I legit in what I'm saying right now? So yeah, what I was back to what I was saying is I obviously got a notice the other day that the gyms are going to be opening. I think it was the first or the second of April or the twelfth of April. Something it's somewhere in April. Um, so I'm really excited. So we're just going to go check out, see if anyone's there. Get a cheeky skid. Not really, because there's a car coming, so we can't really skid it. You watch how fast this car drinks petrol if you start driving it like a nutter, honestly. It's amazing. Oh, it, oh, it looks half open. Oh, it didn't skid because I had the traction on. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I was just going to see if you could get in, but obviously not. There's obviously people here, though. All right, maybe not. Oh, still on a mission to find somewhere to stop. It's a convertible. Hello, hello, hello. Obviously, mid mid age crisis or whatever it's called. Get a convertible BMW. Oh, I know where I am. I think, but I still don't know anywhere to go. <laughs> exciting than I thought it would have been. I could be really cheeky and put it on there, but I'm probably getting hot off. What is that place anyway? Should I just go in there? So, excuse me, do you mind if I just put my car in and do some filming? What's down here? Testing centre, oh this was COVID. I'm gonna go down here. Um Well, 
I don't know anywhere. That's not, there's not nowhere to go. I just don't bloody know where to go. McDonald's found it. That's the shot in McDonald's, guys. There, little uh, what's in here? We probably go in there to be fair. Oh, city council. Oh, <laughs> day to drift around here. Yeah, this could work, I guess. I'm gonna put it in the corner over there. starting at the wheel um, they come with Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tyres absolutely really really grippy I'm told they're really good on the track um, and they're really good for the road as well so a great all-rounder also come with these cool diamond cut wheels you can get upgraded M Sport um, forged wheels um, uh, I believe they're another optional three grand upgrade on the car again with the brakes you can get um, a big brake kit that I mentioned in my first video um basically you can get a six pot caliper uh on the front uh, and a 400 millimeter disc and on the rear you would get a um four pot caliper and a 380 millimeter disc i didn't go for that option because i didn't know about it at the time so um that's a great option to get um, they come with these really cool BMW adaptive LEDs. The good thing I like about these is they're really bright, even when you're just running them normally. Um, they are so bright, and when you put high beam on, it just lights up the road. Um, it also comes with a little button on the steering wheel which you can press, and it will sort of uh, uh, it, watch if there's a car coming in the other direction, it will auto dip the, the light, which I think is quite cool. Again, with a couple other features you can get. You can get upgraded front grille and carbon if you wanted to. You could also get front splitter um, in carbon as an optional upgrade if you wanted to, uh, which is quite great. Uh, you can also buy these in carbon from them. Uh, again, all these little bits are quite expensive. I think just the back of these side badges are about £200. Um, but what do you expect for the car that you buy? You can also get upgraded carbon mirrors. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go around a little bit more around the car. Obviously, I really like the stance of the car. So it is really quite wide. If you notice from here, how wide it, like it is on this side. That is like actually really looks really quite bulky. Um, and even from the front, it looks really, really good. So if we like sort of come back a bit, you can obviously see it's actually quite a good car um, in the sense of its size wise. Um, classic BMW theme. Again, you can get in an optional carbon upgrade um yeah obviously i love the line works i mean I, for me this this bmw um is probably the best looking bmw in the group um they did come with these plastic arches but i've actually removed them um i'm told they're actually just for transporting carts for like the transport to protect them um so yeah obviously the m2 competition badge very nom nom Again, the exhaust, like I mentioned with the exhaust, it needs an upgrade. And like everyone mentions, this big chunky aluminium, well, aluminium, this stainless steel bit that you can see. But um, I think from like, if you stand back here, you can probably see it. 
<laughs> um, obviously you can see that and just going around the car itself obviously um, LED rear tail lights again this lip here you can get in carbon fiber if you wanted to as an uh, optional upgrade um, yeah just overall I think it's a very good looking car um, just look at the lines like these lines here it's just so 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 nice how it folds I mean, if you just look at that line there I mean guys come on it is a, it is a very good looking car obviously the classic M Sport mirrors um, obviously been around for quite some time now I remember them being put on Saxos back in the day when I was a kid and just come round to the front again and then we just go over the engine detail so guys as mentioned uh, I'm just going to go over the engine spec uh, it comes with a 6 cylinder twin turbo 410 horsepower with 400 newton meters of torque um, comes with this lovely 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 nice um, carbon fiber brace um, obviously you've got the charge cooler as I've mentioned before uh, which is actually cooled by coolant rather than air so obviously cools the, the turbos down um, so yes yeah, quite cool you can also get this bonnet in carbon fiber um, obviously I mean it's, it, it's not heavy heavy but compared to a carbon fiber one it would be um, so you can go around the car a little bit and you can see a little bit more of the detail um, again there's not a lot to be revealed obviously the oil filter access love this um, being an, an ex-mechanic myself um, having servicing a lot of vehicles in my time um, some oil filters are really awkward but this is nice and easy so being that we really thought of the technician in this part by putting the oil filter here easy accessible um, and then you can just drain it from underneath uh, again the air boxes two air boxes again you can get upgrades for these so you can get a can and uh, obviously a panel filter or an actual comb filter um, there's some good places to do them uh, wrench studio is one of them and also hack engineering uh, who, two people I'm actually looking at uh, going to for some upgrades later on in the year so yeah guys this is just basically the general spec um, obviously the car comes with OPF which is obviously to help with admissions and stuff um, so it's just to reduce the emissions around the to, to help the planet <laughs> as it were so um, the car um, obviously is a lot of silence a lot of cars from 2019 onwards came with OPF now which actually reduces the sound of the car so as you can see I really like the car and um, you know I, I enjoy every day with it it is a good looking car it's a powerful car um, you just got a drive sensor so we're just gonna go over the interior a little bit so the reason why I'm unlocking the car so what I wanted to show you guys I don't know if you can see it during the day I suppose it's quite hard to see these actually illuminate at night which is really really cool um, it's a really great feature this is the seats like sort of semi bucket seats these are actually adjustable believe it or not um, you can adjust them from the side of the seat um, allowing it to give you more of a uh, closer sphix sphix more depending on your waist size Obviously they are quite nice seats as it comes with um, all this really nice suede and if we just pop in the back again I mean it's not a lot of room I mean I'm a tall guy you know I'm 6'2 so it doesn't leave a lot of room for leg room um, but it's great for, for if you've got a kid you've got the um, not that I'm a father or anything I would know but you know I've got nephews and all so obviously you can put a baby seat in here um, with the anger points so you can pull this down which is quite cool it's got a little cup holder and that in there which is quite nice that's it i think i don't think there's another compartment oh yeah i think this might fold down to be fair it does fold down i'm not sure why you would fold that down what's the access to the shopping if you want to get sweets out the back halfway through your shopping trip <laughs> that's cool anyway it's there um so we're just gonna hop in obviously i've got it in manual you can get an optional uh dsg if you want to um personally i prefer the manual and uh it's a lot cheaper it's 51,860. so it's 51,860 pounds for the manual fully loaded this is what i bought for the car 
um, and for the DC it's 54,505. Um, guys, I got my car, believe it or not, from Carwell. So I went on Carwell before I even knew about even they had a channel. Um, and they sort of found a good deal for me and I actually got a really, really good deal on the car. So thank you Carwell. Put a link in the description below for them because they really helped me out with, with my car. And the climate control, uh, this is a little button here on the side like I mentioned that uh, this little one does the adaptive lighting. Also comes with a sat nav, it comes with obviously general things, live sat nav. So you've got, when you go on the nav, it will give you um, actual live data of where you are, if there's any traffic accidents, stuff like that. Um, like I said, it comes with Apple CarPlay, um, gives you the weather report. Um, you got things like Amazon Alexa, if you have Alexa, weather, news, you can actually search for restaurants and stuff on there. It'll give you wiki, local stuff about wiki, restaurants, travel guide. I mean, it is, it is quite quite a lot for such, for, for what you pay, I believe. Um, so just gonna go over and show you guys the boot. So yeah, I'm just gonna go over to the boot. So the boot, yeah, I think it's a 390 litre boot. And you guys can see, it's actually quite a big boot, so you can fit quite a lot of a lot of stuff. Uh, so yeah, just going, it's just a great car. And yeah, like I said, it's a really nice place to be. So, um, yeah guys, I really rate this car. If I could rate it out of 10, um, it would probably be, if I could rate it out of 10, it would probably be a good nine out of 10, I think, on this one. A um, Couple of things that I don't like about the car is obviously the exhaust. Um, it needs an upgraded exhaust um, because it's just too quiet. Uh, a couple of things I like about it is the stance, um, obviously it being rear wheel drive. Uh, manual um, yeah I think I think that's probably about it so guys yeah if you um, obviously like I said I'm still learning how I'm doing these reviews I'm doing my editing myself now so again the first video I did on this car wasn't that great so I'm just being raw and real with you guys like, I could have uploaded like a perfect video now and just been, like ignored it but I'm trying to engage and sort of say to you guys look guys I made a mistake um, which I don't think a lot of people do on YouTube at the moment. Or well, at least I haven't seen it. Like, I'm putting my hands up, I uploaded a video. That wasn't that great. I uh, had it edited somewhere else. So now I'm doing it myself. Um, so we learn and we grow and we move on. Uh, and this is what we do as humans um, and people and stuff. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to my channel. Um, I've got, like I said, and I've mentioned over and over again, I've got a really cool track day coming out in March. So guys, look out for that video. Uh, yeah, and please, yeah, share and uh, go over to our Instagram and our Facebook and give us a like as well and a follow. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.